Or it's been a difficult start for the Blasters. Uh, naturally, we call ourselves slow starters in, in these competitions, but unfortunately, we've started way too slow this time around with a defeat. Um, against Kedred, a side that ordinarily we are expected to beat, but football these days is not like that. The Blasters themselves are not any better in recent times, so it makes it difficult uh, arguing that we should just go onto the pitch and just pick three points. Our competition actually hinges on that game against Egypt. And we must find a way to get a result out of that game. If we get a result, it would set us back to get ready for a proper launch into the competition. And the reason is quite simple. We have nothing. They have something on the board, as you rightly said. And the Egyptians themselves have actually seen them. And they are saying that this is a final for them. So it actually tells you their expectations are high. Egypt gave away chances. From crosses, you could see that Mozambique got the after equalizer to a, a good cause. They gave away a poor chance to Mozambique to get a second goal. What it means is that Egypt are beatable. They needed a last minute penalty to salvage something out of that game. And uh, do we have what it takes to attack the Egyptians? Yes. We have the character to attack them. That is what I don't believe we do have. So we want to see fight, desire, passion, and some greater deal of intensity in their play when they come up against Egypt. Whatever Black Stars seek to do in this competition hinges on what they do on Thursday. And the draw results that have been coming through indicates that there is no minnow in the competition. And if you don't get a result, if you rely on beating, let's say you look to Egypt and then you want to beat Mozambique to qualify as one of the best third place teams, you might struggle because you would have three points and someone may end up with four. And it could go against you. I'm per se, like, it's not easy. Well, but we stand the chance of winning any game so if we are committed so enough. There are teams case, without uh, talent. So there are teams without um, big names that have won, tournament, have won tournaments and games at this uh, African Cup of Nations and previous yes. ones. So if we are uh, in, in the right shape and form and mentality, I'm sure it's possible yeah. we can win yeah. any game. Well, there are reports that uh, Mohamed Kudus has recovered or is recovering and in line to uh, feature at the tournament. Once Kudus is back, you definitely will get a change of formation uh, because he's a player that uh, can create a lot, a player that can score. So possibly uh, there will be a change of formation. But what I, I think is that Kudus will still stick to his approach. Uh, maybe it's against Egypt, so a bit more defensive in outlook and be cautious at the back. Uh, but I think we will definitely have to change one or two or three players from the first game. Um, definitely, he's a big player and uh, if you have him, he's always going to start or going to be a very uh, instrumental part of the team. So we, we miss Thomas Partey, but uh, Partey has been around. We've gone to tournament and exited in the group stages with Partey. So I, I don't think it's too big a blow, but of course, if he's around, you definitely know that he can create something out of nothing and that's why you require big players? We, have, we actually have a lot uh, to do. I was hoping and thinking that after the Egypt Mozambique game, which ended in the draw, Ghana would have taken a huge advantage of that and go all out against the Cape Verdeans. But there were a lot of things that didn't go well. I think uh, defensively, we were very, very poor. Uh, on the side of the players themselves, I think that too many individual errors especially the two goals that we conceded and more heartbreaking is that is the one that we consider the dying members of the game uh, i'm hoping that individually we stay together defensively i'm hoping that chris also manages the game well because it is important that he takes into account his game management also i need the players to show a lot of commitment because coming up against the egyptians it won't be an easy game you look at egypt from 2017, 2019, and to the last, you know, AFCON, they've been a very, very good team. They've, they've, they've won it, they've lost to, uh, to Senegal in the last AFCON. So for them, this uh, this uh, AFCON, actually, the target for them is to go out there and, and, and win it. So they will come into this game knowing very well that a win against Ghana would secure their passage into the next stage of the comp competition. because. Look at the way things are going. If you get four points, you could even qualify as a third, one of the fourth, third best place team. So it will be a very difficult game. One thing for sure, if you look at Ghana in recent times, results haven't been going our our way. We are not beating the big teams. We can't we can't even beat a team in the top ten 
uh, uh, in Africa. So it is going to be a very difficult thing. But I'm expecting the players to show commitment, just as I said earlier on. Chris should also go in with the right personnel. If he needs to make changes, it has to come as quickly as possible. But we also need to be defensively solid because we are coming up against an Egyptian side that have consistency. If you look at Egypt, the, the, they are coming with players from El Ali, from Pyramid. These are players that are playing, if not arguably the best league in Africa. They know themselves. You look at the Egyptian squad for this particular afternoon, only about five players that play outside the Egyptian league. So it, mean, it means that they have a team that have been playing together for a very, very, very long time. And then again, they have Mohamed Salah, who is one of the best players on the on the continent. So we need to be very, very focused. We need to be very, very determined and learn from the mistakes that we made in the game against Kibbed. You look at this particular year's AFCON, there's been a lot of results that nobody saw coming. Yesterday I was in Yamasuko, I never thought that the Guinea team with a man down would hold Cameroon to a 1 1 scoreline. We saw Nigeria, Pretoria, Guinea, even Mozambique against Egypt. I don't think a lot of us expected that result. So it tells you that yes, if you if you underrate anything, you do it at your own risk. I think that the Egyptians will come into this game knowing that they are favorites. But in this particular tournament, the favorites have always not been you know uh, able to pick up maximum points. So yeah, there will be pressure on us. But sometimes too, you know, when you find yourself in a very difficult situation like this, that is when you get the best out of the team. So I'm just hoping that we will regroup, stay focused. Make sure we do the right thing on the pitch, and who knows, we might be able to pick up the trainers in the point. Is there any notable changes in terms of lineup and formation? If I had my way and my wish, I would have hoped to see Kudu start, but that is if he is match fit. Uh, I, would, I, would, I would prefer to have him start. Uh, I don't think the advance for the war gave me a lot of hope. I would want to you know, be replaced. I also feel like we need to give Osman Bukari you know, a lot of. Uh, game time, especially with his pace, he and Pento need that. That, that uh, we need them in that in that team. And yes, sometimes you might have them in the team, but the supply to them, when you limit them, it is difficult for you to get the best out of them. They are speed tests, they can run, and in one-on-one -on -one situation, they are very very good. So why don't you just get the ball to them on the flank so they can be able to to attack? So I would love to see. No, uh, Osman Bukhari coming, then maybe probably which one I'm you know, uh, Limote as well because I feel we need progressive passes in the game. Majid played well, but I don't think he gave us all. And to be told, and he also lacked much fitness because at club, club level, he's not been playing a lot of games. So I, I, I think that if you're able to change a few things in the team, you might be able to go out there and get a new debut.